Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to write to files in C. One of the cool things we can do in C is we can actually modify and change and also create new files. So in this tutorial, I'll just basically show you guys how to do that. We'll talk about uh, creating files, writing files, and appending onto files. So let's go ahead and do that. Down here in my main function, we're actually going to create a file. So I'm going to create a file and I'm going to store some information inside of that file. And the way that we can do that is we can just type out file all in caps, just like that. And essentially what we're doing here is we're creating a pointer to a physical file on our machine. So uh, I'm just going to say file and I'm going to make an asterisk and I'm just going to give this a name. So I'm just going to call this F pointer and that'll just stand for file pointer. And I want to set this equal to F open and F open is actually a function that's going to open a file for us. Um, and so inside of these parentheses, I'm going to give this a couple of different parameters. Uh, the first parameter is going to be the name of the file that I want to open. So I'm just going to call this employees.txt. And the second parameter is going to be a file mode. And a file mode is basically just going to tell C what we want to do with the file that we're going to open. And there's a bunch of different file modes. Um, the three most basic types are R and R stands for read. So if I put R in there, it'll mean we want to read the file. W stands for write. So if I put write in there, it means I want to either create a new file or write over an existing file. And there's also A, which stands for append. And that means I want to append information on the file. In this tutorial, we're going to look at W and A. So what I want to do over here is put in W. And right now, employees.txt, this file doesn't actually exist. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create that file. We're going to put some information inside that file, and then that file gets saved onto my machine. And in order to do that, we're going to need this write mode. So it's just going to be a W. Anytime that we're opening a file in C, you always want to make sure that you close the file. So over here, I'm saying F open. And down here, I want to use another function called F close. And basically what this is going to do is it's going to close off the file. So it's going to um, remove the file from the memory on our computer. And if we do make any changes, it'll kind of like save the file and everything will just be kind of like locked in. So you always want to make sure whenever you're working with a file that you close it. And inside of this F close function, we just want to pass in this F pointer. So I'm just going to say F pointer right there. So let's talk about what's happening here. File is basically just like essentially like a data type, I guess. And we're creating a pointer to a physical file on our computer. So if you remember, a pointer is basically just a memory address. Right? A pointer is a type of data that we can use in our programs. It's essentially just a memory address. And this pointer is storing the memory address of this new employees.txt file that we're going to create. So essentially what's going to happen is we're going to create this employees.txt file and F pointer is going to be pointing to the memory address of that file on our computer. So that's essentially what's happening here. And what I want to do is I actually want to write some information to this file. So actually, let me just show you guys really quick what's happening here. So without doing anything else, just using this line right here. When I run my program, a new file called uh, employees.txt is going to get created. So over here, I'm in my little directory. And if you don't specify an absolute path or like a relative path for this, it's just going to create it in the directory that your C files in. So if I wanted to create this on my C drive, I could say like C um, whatever, and then like employees.txt and this will get created in my C drive. But if I don't specify like an absolute path, um, or even if I don't specify a relative path, then this is just going to get created in the same directory as our C file. And you'll see over here, my main.c file is right here. It's in this folder. So when I run this program, we, let's watch over here and we can see this employees.txt file get created. So I'm going to run my program. And you'll see over here that this employees file got created. So if I actually bring this out a little bit, you'll see it's a text document. It's employees.txt and there's zero kilobytes inside of this. So we haven't put any information in there, but this file got created. So now let's talk about putting some info into that file. Inside this file, I'm basically just going to list out a bunch of like employees that might work in an office. 
And the easiest way to write information to a file is just to say f print f. And this is a special um, function in C, which actually works a lot like the print f function. So if you've used the print f function, and if you're following along with this course, we've been using it throughout the entire course. Um, the print f function basically allows you to like print information out onto that console window. F print f is going to allow us to essentially just write information to a file. I need to give this a couple parameters. The first one is going to be this file pointer. In other words, I need to tell this function, you know, what it should be writing to. So I'm just going to say f pointer. And then over here, we can just give this some information. So I can just use like after we put in this file pointer, I can just use this like I normally would the uh, print f function. So I could just print out like some employees. So I could say like, let's say one of the employees is Jim and we'll put like what they do. So like I could say salesman and then we could say, actually let's make a new line and we'll create another employee, Pam, and she is the receptionist. And then we can make some other employees. So, so now I have three employees that I'm going to basically write out to my employees file. So now when I run this program and we can go over here to this employees file, you'll see when I open this up that we have these three lines in here. So we have Jim salesman, Pam receptionist and Oscar accounting. So basically I was able to create this file and write all of this information in the file from down here, just from down here in this program. So that's pretty cool. And I want to show you guys with write. So when I'm using this write, this is actually going to overwrite a file. So for example, if I change this from all this text and I just put like overridden in here. Now when I run this program and we open this employees.txt file, so let me reopen this. You'll see it just says overridden. So I've actually overridden all the text that was in there. And that's basically what happens when we just write to a file. So let's go back to what we had before. I'm just going to run this again. So we have this text and you'll see now we're back with uh, the employees. So let's say that um, inside of this file, we wanted to add an employee onto the end of it. So we wanted to add like a new employee onto this file, right? Well, I can use something called append and what append is going to do is it's going to allow us to append a new line onto the end of this file, or actually just append text onto the end of the file. Instead of saying W, I'm just going to say A, and you'll notice I'm still keeping employees.txt here. And down here inside of this F print F, I'm just going to print out uh, another employee into the file. The first thing I'm going to do is print out a new line because, and actually let me show you guys this in this employees file, there actually isn't a line after this last line. So the last like position in this file is over here. I can't actually get onto the line below Oscar. So I'm going to want to go ahead and print a new line and this will move the next employee onto the next line. And we could say like Kelly and she's going to work in customer service. So now when I run my program, instead of overriding what was in the employees.txt file, now this is just going to append this new employee onto the file. So I'll come up here, run the program and let's open this employees file. And you'll see now we have another entry Kelly from customer service. So when we write a file, um, we either create a new file and add content onto it, or we just overwrite the content in the file, um, at least using this F print F function. And when we append, we're just appending information onto the end of the file. So just using those two things, I mean, you can, essentially write out any file that you want. Um, and it's important to note that you can write more than just text files. So I could write like an HTML file or I could write like a CSS file. Um, you could write really, I mean, any type of file uh, that you'd want. And um, that's basically how we can write to a file and append it to the end of a file. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.